ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக வெல்கம் டு ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸ் பார்ட் ஃபோர் அவர் கேசரினா ட்ரீ தாருடட் ஸோ யூ நோ அபவுட் த ஃபஸ்ட் த்ரீ ஃபஸ்ட் டூ டான்ஸ் ஸ்டான்சா கிவ்ஸ் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் அபவுட் த ட்ரீ அண்ட் தேர்ட் ஸ்டான்சா இஸ் பர்சனல் தாட் ஆஃப் த poetess and how she feels and longs and lament so that had been seen and we'll go for the fourth stanza kasurina tree is a symbol representation of india the tree the motherly character plays the role of even it arbors the nature the animals and human beings tarudat and her friend spent most of their time under the tree playing chatting fighting and planning they belonged to different sectors but were one in nature under the jain tree canopy the metaphorical itching of the tree scenes clearly confirms the godly nature attributed to the trees in india like wordsworth yew tree the casuarina tree is made to have the longest tenure of life through the verses not only through the verses but also the love and affection of the poet and the commodrates the fellow human beings the casuarina tree symbolizes the uniqueness of india unity in diversity this is well stated by quoting the varied multiple that coexisted under the tree the gray baboon a life human being donorous characterized to substantiate the immortal nature of the tree and human chain casuarina tree referred by tarudat may die one day literacy but certainly love and verse would have sowed and created its young one however the poets immortalize the tree human beings and casuarina tree is made for each other the women poet has immortalized it with such a divine so here in this part human being may die you know that one generation will be dying the next generation will be coming but the tree will be seeing four five sometimes 10 generation also 20 generation also that so here the poet is makes the tree as immortal one and human being or mortal mortal means you can die so here the tree lives for a long time so she is telling that it is immortal So we'll go for the poem fourth stanza unknown yet well known to eye of faith hi have you heard that wail far far away in distant lands my many a sheltered bay when slumbered in his cave the water wraith and the waves gently kissed the classic shore of france or italy beneath the moon when it lay transcend in a dream resoon and every time the music rose before my inner vision rose a form sublime die from o tree as in my happy prime i saw thee in my own loved native clime so the poet feels here what she says is in the fourth stanza she is having a longing for her motherland where the casuarina tree stands and she she is in far away in a distant nation and uh, away from the motherland and she is feeling and that feeling makes her to write these lines we'll go by line by line unknown yet well known to the eye of faith so unknown which is unknown the foreign nation is unknown and uh, which is known the yet well known to the eye of faith means she is staying but well known place is her mother nation and she is feeling for that ha ha heard that wail far far away so she is she is saying that i we are wailed that far far away i am the far away distance but i am hearing the lament of the tree from the mother nation from india she is feeling in uh, distant lands by many a sheltered bay when slumber in a cave the water wraith and the waves gently kissed the classic shore so when slumbered in a cave the water wraith so the tree is just having a slumber slumber means you'll be just having a nap or sleep so it will be taking rest in a cave the water wraith water wraith means water is just moving and the waves gently kiss the classic shore so the waves which the tree made came to the beach and kissed her so she feels that 
of France or Italy. So, she is staying in France and Italy, her mother nation is India. So, she feels it is even of or France or Italy beneath the moon when it lay transcend in the dreamless soon. So, here she is telling that I am in far away nation in Italy or in uh, France, but my mother nation is in my mind and it will be kissing forever. And the casuarina tree which sleeps and has waves that comes and makes a touch on me. When earth lay transcend in the dreamless soon and every time the music rose before, mine inner vision rose uh, form sublime. So, and every time the music rose, whenever the casuarina tree makes the sound, each time when it makes the sound, it will be just making a touch on her and it had happening in her mind and every time the music rose before, mind innovation rose a form sublime. So, here whenever the casuarina touch comes and touches in her dream or in her memory or in her mind, immediately she feels about the hometown even she stays in the foreign country. Thy form, O tree, as in my happy prime. So, so, that much the tree was involved in her mind and body and soul. So, she is having a long and uh, lovable uh, nature or she feels that the casuarina tree is very, very beloved one to her. Thy from O tree, as in my happy prime, I saw thee in my own loved native clime. So, even she is in foreign country, what she had saw, saw previously in the past in the nation, in the native country, she had recollected all in her mind and when she was in away, in her far away nation or for a distant place, she is recollecting all the moments, what all happening and whenever that moment she gets, she feels the hometown and loves it and she is longing to come and see the casuarina tree. We will go for the next. So, this is the beach, how she is talking about, calm place. We will go for figure of speech in this line, ha ah, I have heard, while far far. So, have and heard is alliteration, far and far is alliteration. When slumbered in this means water and wraith is alliteration. Again apostrophe I said that when you are addressing O or thy if you are using and addressing something that is called apostrophe thy form O tree. So, here you again you are addressing so it is called as apostrophe. So, imagery you know that and the wave gently kiss the classic shore. So, when somebody is kissing the, some, the classic shore. So, that will be getting as an imagination of France or Italy beneath the moon. So, she talks that all the nation beneath the moon and sun is same and every time the music rose. So, sometimes she is hearing a music, rose means something is you are heard by you. Mind inner vision rose a form sublime. So, here she is having an inner vision and it is just sublime in her mind and next uh, figure of speech is metaphorical. When earth lay transcend in dreamless soon, so when the earth lay, so earth lay means in her, earth in her dream. So, she is feeling that she is talking about. Glossary, wraith means apparition, you will be having some imagination. Transcend means dreamy condition or hypnotized. so you will be just having a hypnotized condition. And then sublime, glorious and grand. So, we have uh, completed the fourth part, we will continue the fifth part. Sisti Gurbiyo Namaga, welcome to online teaching. This is the uh, fifth part of Our Casuarina Tree, written by Tarudat. So, on the four parts, we have seen first two parts is uh, about a description about the poem. The tree has uh, been explained and described how it is great magnificence and uh, so lovable to the poetess. And third stanza fear tells about the feeling of the poet, how she is missing and longing for her brother and sister and for the hometown. And the same way, the fifth thing is, we are going to see, let us see that.
See, as we are going for the fifth uh, stanza, I will just give the gist of all the full poem four thing and then we will go for fifth. The casuarina tree is tall and strong with a creeper winding around it like a python. The tree stands like a giant with a colorful scarves of flowers. Birds surrounded the garden and the sweet song of the birds is heard. The poet is delighted to see the casuarina tree through her casement. She sees a grey monkey, a baboon, sitting like a statue on top of the tree. The cows grazing and the water lilies springing in the pond. The poet feels that the tree is dear to her not for its impressive appearance, but for the nostalgic memories of her happy childhood that it brings to her. She strongly believes that nature communicates with human beings. The poet could communicate with the tree even when she was in a far off land as she could hear the tree lamenting her absence. The poet concentrates the tree's memory to her loved ones who are not alive. She immortalized the tree through her poem like the poet Wordsworth who sanctifies the yew tree of a Borrowdale in verse. She expressed her wish that the tree should be remembered out of love and not just because it cannot be forgotten. So, you will be uh, the explanation had been given that the casuarina tree stands and that, uh, it is a very great magnificent thing in the memory of the poetess. And she feels whenever she is in the long distance far away, when she think of the casuarina, she recollects all the past thing, what all happened with their family members and at home in hometown. So, she recollects all those things. So, we will go for the fifth stanza. Therefore, I fain would consecrate a lay onto the honor, tree beloved of those who now is blessed, sleepy for air repose, dearer than life to me, alas, where they? So, therefore, I feign. What do you mean by feign? Feign means eagerly. Therefore, I eagerly would concentrate on, the concentrate means holy thing. I lay unto thy honor, tree beloved of those. So, she feels that she is eagerly want to see the tree and it is an holy thing. The tree is, casuarina tree is a holy thing. She is comparing that something great and holy. And unto thy honor, it is of thy honor means she, it, she had kept the tree in a very great place, honor. She want to honor the tree because she feels that it is a great thing which brings all the memories of the motherland and about their relatives, everything. Tree beloved of those who now in blessed sleep for a repose. So, they have been blessed sleep. That means blessed sleep means somebody died. So, she lost her brother and sister and they died and they have been buried and their past memories when they were playing under the tree that all been recollected by when she thinks about the tree. And she says for a repose means they are taking rest. Dearer than life to me, alas, where they are. So, she is longing and feeling for not only the tree, for her brother and sister who were a young companion when she was young and they were playing and enjoying and having all sharing and caring. That all she is missing now. So, she feels once she recollect about the casuarina tree, the past memory of her family members and the happy uh, life wow she had in the young age that all had been recollected. So, she is asking, alas where they means those, those things where I am missing now. So, she is asking and feeling sorry for missing that. May as though be numbered when my days are done with deathless tears like those in Borrowdale. So, Wordsworth poem Borrowdale, so, this is allusion, you can say Borrowdale is a poem which had been written by William Wordsworth and here William Wordsworth feels for the same uh, longing and that longing had been here recollected with deathless trees like those in Borrowdale. Borrowdale is the same poet William Wordsworth also feels something the tree is missing and that had been uh, given and that had been commented or taken for the poem. So, it is illusion. Under whose awful branches lingered pale, 
fear, trembling hope, and death the skeleton under whose awful branches lingered pale. So, she is feeling that somebody, a loved one, dear one had been buried under the tree. So, that was their Borrowdale in Wordsworth poem. The same poem, how she is also feeling the playing movement and other things under the tree had been missing and that was the worry in her mind. Under whose awful branch lingered pale, fear, trembling, hope and death, the skeleton. So, fear, trembling, hope and death, the skeleton. So, what she is saying, under the world, if you are born once, you have to die and only what is remaining, you are, if you are buried, your skeleton alone will be remaining there. So, the day will be, so that means human being as their mortal, they will be having a day to die. But we will be thinking that we will be living for a long time and there will be long uh, rays and so many things will be there in our mind and you will be fighting and so many things are there. So, the poetess tells very clearly, Casarina tree has immort immortal value and human being has mortal. So, you will be dying and if you die, nothing will be there, only skeleton will be remaining later when you bury and see. And time the shadow and though weak the verse and time the shadow, time is a shadow. So, in time, uh, uh, we'll, we'll, when the time is given, we have to live that uh, span time is the thing we have to do good or whatever the thing. But trees are not like that. It will be seeing so many generations. So, if our grandfather will be played under it, even on the same tree, we will be playing under it. So, she talks about that. And though weak the verse, that would die beauty fain. Beauty fain means it will be eager. Oh, fain regaze. So, the fain means eagerly it is repeating. Regaze means repeat, repeating. So, what will happen? We have to buy a uh, born, die, born, die like that generation by generation it is happening. But it is not happening for the tree. So, the tree will be seeing so many generations as she is telling. That would die beauty fain or fain here regress. May love defend thee from oblivion curse. So, she feels may love defend thee from oblivion curse. What do you mean by oblivion? Oblivion means a state of forgetfulness. So, you have to, when you feel your mother, father or grandmother, grandfather, somebody died, if you are keeping on thinking of it, you will not uh, run your days. So, here the poet tells very clearly, it must be forget, uh, forgetfulness. So, actually she want to forget it, but the casuarina tree when she uh, thinks, it all been recollected and she is feeling very uh, Sad, sad and sorrow when she is not forgetting. So, memories of her happy childhood had been given. So, exclamatory, exclamatory, unto thy on, honor tree beloved of those. So, this is a exclamatory sentence and it is a uh, figure of speech, metaphorical and simile with deathless like trees those in buried. So, here the tree is deathless, how trees are deathless, deathless the same way casuarina tree is also deathless, they were are not uh, dying. It has uh, mortal and human beings are mortal, trees are immortal. So, it was being uh, explained by uh, repetition. That would die beauty fain, oh fain, so fain, fain is the word repeated, so it is called repetition. For, uh, personification, fear, trembling, hope and death, the skeleton. So, here again uh, the tree had been given yeah, emotional feeling like fear, love and all. So, it is called, considered as a person, so it is a personification. So, okay, you have uh, completed the first part, uh, first stanza tells you, first two stanza tells you the description about the poem, uh, poet describes the tree and the tree is very great magnificence and the natural scenery what all there. And third, she feels lament and fourth also she is feeling and fifth, very clearly she tells that human being or mortal and uh, trees are immortal and she compares with the words with uh, trees, how he had been explaining the same way, she is also having a feeling for tree. 
And how Keats feeling in his mind about the relationship, what he is missing, the same way the poet is also has the uh, same feeling like Keats. And that is the end of the poem. We will see you in the next class. Bye.